As we welcome in on the phone, Joe Convertino Jr. from CH Insurance for our Cup of Joe this week. Joe, good morning, and how are you today? Hey, good morning, Gomez and Lisa. 7.30 on the stinking button. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Yes. You know, it should be like local news. Instead, you got me and CH Insurance <laughs> talking to you. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. It's a good thing. Sure. Well, first, uh, thanks for the invite, Joe. On Monday, I know you had a, a golf event with the Center State CEO, and it was like a last-minute thing, and then... I'd actually been committed to another one with Make-A-Wish at the Drumlins, but it's a, a busy time of the year. People trying to get in some of their late season the tournaments. Yes, it is. And I, and I was talking to someone the other day that feels like there's more tournaments in September than there are in, you know, June and July. With the weather being better, we're seeing all these organizations do events in uh, in September and October. And the center state, just like all of them, they do a great job uh, – you know, networking, collaborating, great causes. I'm sure yours was an awesome event. Uh, I think you said yours was at Drumlin. Did they do both courses or just one side? Uh, just one side, the 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 East course. It was the Make-A-Wish Foundation and uh, a lot of fun. We did okay, you know, for our group. We were uh, five under, I think. Uh, and you were saying for you, you were like tied for second. We tied for second at 10 under, but nice. ours had, it was cool. You know, they did mulligans, so we got, you know, four, eight mulligans, and we still didn't win it. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> we needed you, Gomez. We needed you. Mm. Maybe next time yeah. I'm calling Lisa. Uh, you know, maybe we should get her on the speed dial. No. There you go. <laughs> yeah, worst golfer ever. If you need, like, someone to really tank it for you, I am your girl. Yeah, I just... but Lisa, you can pot and yeah. probably do all that and chip and... You yeah. have fun with everybody. And then yeah. the 19th hole, Lisa, the 19th there you hole go. after. What, what, what happens on the 19th hole? It's the bar. Oh, that's okay. The, <laughs> it's the bar, it's know. the buffet, it's the yeah. prizes. Right, Gomez? It's the uh, fun part of it. I'll it's tell you what, time. if you need a ringer and you have to, like, sometimes they have those mixed, you know, things where you have to have, yeah. like, girls and boys together on a uh -huh. team, I'll get you my sister. Right, she good. can She's crush a club it. champ from the Finger Lakes. Yeah. She's, wow. Yeah, she can crush wow. it. Great. Right. Yep. All right, Great. SU at Purdue, guys. What, what are we thinking? We're 2-0. Uh, what it's, do you guys, you know, what's the what's the feelings in Galaxy headquarters? Uh, good. I know they're a two-and-a-half-point favorite on the road, and I know they had a couple of big injuries this past week, but it seems to me, Joe, that this team is a, a little deeper at those positions and in past years, I think they're going to cover for those guys this coming weekend. And they have a couple of offensive linemen coming back who weren't available last week. And I know we're down one on the line, but bringing two back. I'm feeling good about it. I'm thinking that uh, we'll come back 3-0 and getting ready for Army. I know. It'd be great. I, I like our defense this year. For some reason, it's the... You know, the offense I always thought was good, but it's the defense that I think is is really, really taking it over the edge this year. Um, so that's great news. Um, Lisa, mm -hmm. it, it, we wanted to ask you about Aaron Rodgers goes down four no. plays. Mm -hmm. Four plays. Uh, but he still gets to make $75 million. Can you believe that? Well, Isn't it wild that guaranteed. that's – I mean, guaranteed, right? Oh, oh. That is unbelievable. So do they what insure a, that? Like, do they insure him? Talking about oh, insurance. That's a great question. Do they insure know? his heel? I mean, you know, didn't they used to say that J-Lo had her butt insured and, like, Marilyn Monroe had her I legs insured know, and stuff? Those are specialty programs. Who knows? I mean, Lloyd's of London, I guess, can do anything. Mm -hmm. um, but that is just so sad. I mean, the Jets, they, they wanted him there, obviously, oh. but... Whoever negotiated that contract, wow. Kudos to him or her. <laughs> well, they probably got 20% anyway. his agents. Sure. That's a, sure. Nice, that's a nice payday. Uh, hey, Joe, uh, speaking of insurance along those lines, I know it's in September, and I know uh, employees at various companies, all companies, I guess, are starting to get their notices for uh, health insurance coverage that they have to sign up for in the next uh, however long the, the window is there. Uh, mm -hmm. Is that happening from your end, obviously? Yes, yes. What's happened is kind of after Labor Day and, uh, you know, over the next two months, typically you have open enrollments probably up till Thanksgiving. But a lot of business owners, you know, you're reading about, you know, all the different health insurance plans, whether you're single, family, employee, plus one. 
we're seeing anywhere from a six to fifteen percent increase ah. um, for group health insurance. So, kind of some neat things we did at, at our agency at CH Insurance with the leadership of Joe Corsi. We developed what we call 50 under 50. You're going to start reading about it and hearing about it. We just think a lot of the small business owners across central New York don't get the attention they deserve with health insurance, right? It goes up 13%. You pay it. You complain to your broker. Make sure your agent or broker is showing you different options because, as you guys know around here, Excellus is probably 95% of the marketplace in central, in believe it, in Onondaga County. As you go towards Utica, Rome, you have MVP, um, but most plans under 100 employees are with Excellus, and they're diminishing their plans, meaning they had 30 plans. Now they're down to 24. So you've got to work with your agent and make sure they know what makes you tick as a business owner to try to save money, bring wellness into your uh, mix, right? Different things like that. And, and, and try to mitigate these increases and offset some of the premium. So you'll read about it, more services. We can help with Cobra. We give them a portal, um, give access to human resource services, financial wellnesses, really items, guys, that small business owners don't have access to. All right, good stuff. Yeah, Joe, can we com- can we complain and ask for a reduction? Like, can I call? I mean, if my, like, wow, my health insurance went up so much. Like, you know what, can I drop something? Can I move something? Is there another way to go about it? I mean, he's Yes, okay. you can move something, you know, depending if, you know, you're, you're with your, empl- you say, an employer plan. You know, small employers can offer two or three options. It gets confusing for the owner or the administrator, but you can have a couple plans, right? You've got the young people, right, Gomez, like, you know, my daughters, they say, ah, nothing can happen. So they have higher deductible plans that they pay more or it's self-insured to obviously a a, a, a dollar amount, let's just call it 7500 but they're going to take the risk that they'll pay for the little nickel dime stuff. But if there's a major emergency, a, you know, a mm. knee surgery, things of that nature, Lisa, there's different options. And then that would mitigate or lower the premium. So mm. talk to your business owners or whoever's responsible at your place of work. Cause there's, there's a lot of good options. And if you need help, you know, we'll give you a, a, a holler here at CH and um, help you out if we can. Cool. Right. So Joe Convertino Jr. from CH Insurance. It's our Cup of Joe this week. Joe, we'll talk to you in a couple of weeks. 